What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Mariah. Thank you so much for joining me for day three of the Spiritual Fest. I've decided to just record my video here as I was doing my gratitude walk. Um, I just decided to stop here, and it's so crazy because I went to stop, and I looked to the side, and it's a grasshopper. Um, since I, day one of the Spiritual Fest, I've been seeing grasshoppers every freaking day. So just to stop here randomly and see that grasshopper, which I took a picture of, and this is the place I decide to do my my video. So um, the symbolizing of uh, a grasshopper just means patience, to have patience, and that God is on your side, the universe is on your side. So to see that on day three, again, of my spiritual fast, and you know, sometimes we do pray for things or we're looking for things and we get anxious to see the outcome. But sometimes we do have to hit the brakes, slow it down, be patient. So seeing that just gave me my inspiration on what to talk about a day three. But I also wanted to talk about things that lower your vibration, um, things that knock you off of your path when you're trying to focus. Um, first thing I want to say is negative self-talk, self-sabotage, gossiping, um, too much television, on the news, watching just things that is going to keep at a low vibration. So you want to make sure you are intentional about the things that you are watching, intentional about the things that you are putting into your ear gates because it really does make a difference on your mood. Um, and also, if you're hungry and you're watching something on TV that is going to make you want to get something to eat, I guarantee you it's going to do something to you. So just as a little example, you want to be constantly pouring into yourself things that are going to uplift you. And the first thing for me is getting out in the sun. I love to get out in the sun and just it, it, it just gives me that natural boost of energy that I need. The sun is vitamin C, vitamin D, and every vitamin that you can use in your body that's going to um, help you to boost your, your mood for the day. Taking a walk. Um, also, meditation always helps me to, you know, feel better. Um, but other than that, you know, we are here. We need to stay in a high, high vibrational state at all times. Um, well, especially while we're in our fasting, you, want, you don't want to be dreadful of, of why you're fasting. You don't want to feel bad or overthink or make you, you know, you just want to stay in a, a good positive mindset. I mean, the best way to do that again is to decrease the things that are going to make you feel bad or overthink um, and increase the things that's going to settle your mind and make you feel at ease, feel that joy, that peace. Um, aside from that, um, I did want to talk about spirituality. You know, what is spirituality? A lot of people have different things. Um, another thing that you guys can do is bike ride. You probably see some people bike riding in a moment. Bike riding has always helped me um, feel good as well. And all this amazing exercise. Something just flew in the was, But always amazing exercise. Um, and just boosting yourself up. But aside from that... Um, I just wanted to talk about what is spirituality and is it religion? Now, to me, spirituality and religion are two different things. Well, not two different things because they tie together. Any religion that I have ever heard um, them speak about, they have always put spirituality somewhere in there. Um, I did a podcast today and we, we touched on that. But when you think about spirituality, think about your spirit. Everyone has a spirit. Everyone has a soul. So when you are tapping into your spirituality, it's a personal journey. It's a self-love journey. It's a self-care journey. Um, and the spirit is basically your inner soul, your soul, your place that is going to guide you, is going to keep you from wrong. It's always going to give you that intuition. Is, is your gut, is your instincts. So when you are in tune with your spirit, things get a lot easier and the ritual is basically just a routine so get your spirit in a routine that is going to satisfy you um that is going to bring you prosperity health wealth goodness and just joy peace all over all the fruits of the good good god you know that we are supposed to obtain in this world that is true abundance when your soul your spirit is happy i mean everything else falls in the line so um you know, 
spirituality that's that's my take on it i'm not saying that's everyone's take but for me i did grow up in christianity i'm on my podcast i always give a scripture um i to start it off because that is really what had helped me to tap all the way into my spirituality and and lean on to lean on god and and my angels and know that there is help to guide me through so um i grew up in christianity and when i'm in my downtime i do my devotions i do read my bible um and even on thursdays i do have bible study with my spiritual team my spiritual family um and it's, it's amazing but i feel like when you go into your spirituality your own self-love and self-healing journey you going you will go in the way that you were you were grown up you know if you didn't believe in a in a, a higher source or anything other than self then as you go in within yourself you will eventually tap into what satisfies your soul what resonates with you so i mean it's all about day one you need to start somewhere um and somewhere means going in with you meditate be in a peaceful state of mind um being mindful and just being in the present moment is the easiest way for you to do that um, so that's it, you guys. Just day three of the journey. I'm about to eat. I'm going to find me a nice.